Jump in. A little bit nippy, innit? What, what are you trying to say? No, it's cold now. No, my yeah. nipples are out. <laughs> That's <laughs> not what I said. It got How can you see my nipples techie. through this thing here? It just here? got techy very quickly. Right, your drink's there. Just Thank so you know. Okay, just Thank in case you want to get drunk to yes. deal with what's about to happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> What's about to happen, lad? You all right? <laughs> yeah, you all right. I'm good. I'm good, baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm Clara Hermit. This is In Bed With Clara. And today, joining me in the bed is a man who is a showstopper. He's a road blocker. He is the king of ad-libs. He's currently making my bed. It's the one, the only, back road G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him again, tell him again, tell him again. Don't stop. Keep it going. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Keep it there. That's the one. Don't stop. Whoosh, whoosh. Now, yes. I faded it out. I, like I could have kept going though. You could have. Yeah. Got yeah. big lungs. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. We're live. How are you? I'm How good. You You're wearing two watches. Still couldn't be on time. <laughs> Cheers. Brr. You made it though, didn't you? Cobble. Are you going to do all the way through? I don't know. You have to. Do you know why? Why? Because when you go on to do any of your videos, it doesn't matter if it's a music video or an interview. Yeah. A lot of the comments are about you and your ad-libs. Yeah. Do you talk like that in everyday life? Yeah. That's where it comes from. Say me and you were like, oh, well, we were hungry now. Let's go to the supermarket. Let's get some frozen peas. Then you would just do like an ad-lib on it. It just comes out. That's where it comes from. It just comes out. Like I can't. I couldn't even give you an explanation of how it happens. Do you have a bedtime routine? I burn the splugs. I watch a one episode or something. What are you watching at the moment? A few things. Power. They need to. Yeah, power. You might need to drop a next episode because you're really pissing me off. You understand? Well, it's um, not enough series for you. No, there isn't because I, I don't like. I can't watch everything or anything because like I got a very short like attention span. Are you like that with ladies as well? Do you have a short attention span? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. No comment. You, can, you only get one of those in this whole interview. You can't just keep doing. No, nah, we drop no comments when it's needed. Right, okay. So you burn a spliff. You watch a Netflix a bit. What? Mm. And then what do you do for your bedtime routine? What happens next? No, I'll probably fall asleep by doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you wear to bed? Because you've got some nice pajamas on now. These are quite soft, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Yeah. But usually, I, um, yeah, it's just my boxes. I like to be free. What kind? Because sometimes you can get baggy ones, or you can get more tighter ones. What do you go for? I like space, so yeah, baggy. Is you needed. go for the baggy boxes. Yeah, sometimes you you need the yeah the tightage ones, but yeah, That's I like don't... to breathe. Sometimes you need the tight ones. So you don't get a mam mammal toe. What's that? What's a mammal toe? You know when you can see a man's pink because he's got a loose box. <laughs> it's the, the bit of the bulge, you know. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Oh, Lord have mercy, I don't know where we've gone here. You know what a camel toe is on a oh, girl, though? Yeah, of course. Yeah. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you in bed? Probably fighting or something, I don't know. I don't really have weird experiences like that. Would you be embarrassed if you fighted now? No, I would let it bang. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, I'll let it grrr. <laughs> Don't play with your boy. <laughs> Trust me. If I hear any suspicious noises now, or if this bed vibrates in any kind of way, I know exactly who to look at. Oh, uh, don't worry. You know if it happens. What's the wildest thing you've ever done in bed? Depends what you mean by wild, but, um, yeah, no comment. I've heard all kinds of things in this bed. What's the wildest thing you've heard someone say in this bed? Um, we just heard about somebody who had sex with one sister, then when she fell asleep, had sex with the other sister. <sighs> wow. Are you that level wild or are you more not yeah, that level no, wild? Yeah, I'm not that wild still. Okay, pleads the fifth. Um, <laughs> are you confident naked? Oh no, yeah, I'm good, man. I don't give a fuck. So oh, you're confident swear. then? Yeah, that's where. Well, you've already done it now. That's <laughs> yeah. We're in the whole episode. Fuck it. We've got to start from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite body part? On a woman. Favourite no. body part? What? My body part? Yeah, on you. What's your favourite body part? Bro, that, no, what? I'm never even asked myself that. Don't you? That's wild. What is my favourite body part? Yeah. Can we come back to that? We'll come back to it. You, yeah. well, how are you going to think about it and answer questions? Don't worry, I'm, I'm learning this thing we call multi Multitasking? Yeah, yeah. We're learning that one. If someone was like feeling not confident naked, what would you say to him? It's your body, man. Live in it. Ocean top press. <laughs> that one. You're funny. What's your favourite thing to do in bed? It's getting very yeah, you get me. <laughs> I like to lie down and smoke some tweed and watch TV. 
Just like smoking weed, that's your favourite thing to do. It's not my favourite thing to do, but like, I'm very favorite? boring. You can say sex, it's not, no one's going to shoot you. <laughs> Sometimes I just like a vibe, I just like to chill. With someone else or on your own? On my own, someone else, it don't matter. Do you like snuggling? Yeah, snuggle's good. Snuggle is good. Hug? Ooh. Yeah. Spooning? Good stuff, that is. Forking? <laughs> Wait, what's forking? If that's like a northern person, instead of saying fucking, they'd say, forking? Right? <laughs> 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 it's funny stuff. <laughs> it. If someone had their eye on you and they wanted to get you into bed for a little bit of nighttime gymnastics, whatever you like to call it, <laughs> how could they do it? What's the best way to get you in bed? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Just be yourself, but yeah. more likely I will not have time for that, so... He's a busy man. Yeah. All right? You can't just spot someone's personality. Mm. So you've got to look presentable at least. Have a nice smile, have nice teeth. You need a, yeah, whoosh it down, press. You get me? You understand what we're saying here? You Is that a that? bum? Yes, that's what. It's a bum? Yes, yes. I've got Very a nice smile. Plumptious. Come on. <laughs> Sexy, isn't it? That is. Um, so you like a big bum, is what you're saying? Brr. That's your thing? Brr. Okay, I guess that's a yes. Brr. I'm going to just start doing that now. Sure. <laughs> you got to put it in the right context. Yeah, but uh, well, you just said to do it. You didn't give me a context. Go right, I'll give you another one. Go on, then. No, 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 let's go. You go. Okay. <laughs> no, she's taking a piss. Hey, she's taking a piss. I don't know when it's the right time oh. to do it. I'm just trying to guess. Uh, what's your favourite position? I might have two, but I don't know the, the name of the other one. Right, okay, what's the one you do know the name of? Let me guess, I'm going to use my psychic abilities. Uh. Mm, um, doggy. <laughs> It's because you said you like bums, so that was my number one. What's the other one? What You don't know the name of it. What does it look like? How do you explain it? <laughs> no comment. You've got to share the wealth. I might want to try it out. I feel like you're getting further and further away from me in the bed as well. As he's I, I feel like in a minute you're just going to roll out. He's like, oh my God. No, no, How have I got cool. myself into this? What gives you the ick? What would make you run away from someone? Like being too... I mean, you're just too... Too on it, like... Like a bit like me right now. No, you're all right, love. You're you keep right. saying no comment to me. <laughs> no comment. Because you keep catching me off guard. <laughs> this is my interview series. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> What's your favourite forms of intimacy that isn't sex? When I lay, when I lay in a girl's chest. Just laying there like that. Yeah. Like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no? I do do that sometimes yeah. too. <laughs> When it comes to uh, to making music, mm -hmm. you're pretty experimental. Yeah. Are you the same in the bedroom? Yeah, no. Yeah, and no. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> you're learning, you're learning. Yeah, yeah, I'm teaching yeah, good. Yeah, and no. Where, when it comes to being experimental with music, a lot of people will just stick to what they do and do the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah. But you do loads of different stuff with loads of different artists. I know you've got like big plans to work with people from different genres, etc. Yeah. You've got to be confident to do that, right? Because you can't be listening to anyone else. I'm really like a student of music as well. I love music, in it, you know what I'm saying? So I listen to everything anyways. Yeah, it's just it's very hard for me to just be on one thing. I don't, I don't really like being boxed in because I could do anything. No one puts back row G in a box. Never. You're a bit of a music connoisseur, right? You like lots of different types of music. I know you listen to everything from country to soul to whatever. Don't know again. What I was going to ask you is if I was putting together a playlist for lovemaking, what song would you say has to go on there? Some Dexter Daps in there. Owner. It's a good one, isn't it? You know a little something, don't you? <laughs> That's on my list already. All right. You need to be in that kind of lane. Yeah, so you can get the Washington Press to do what's next. The what? <laughs> to get the Washington Press to do what's next. Right. Yeah. Get the Washington Press to do what's next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard you talking about, um, so when you, you got signed, right, ages ago, mm. and then you released a track, and then nothing really happened, and then you said that you got depressed after that. How did you get out of that headspace? For me, I, I, I got out of that place because already I was already going through a lot at, at the time, innit? So like, it wasn't just the music, like, but I just didn't care about music after, innit, for a little while. So 
I just continued on with life. What I learned um, in this thing, uh, it's not personal, man. It's, it's business. So the quicker I learned that, I saved myself a lot of headache. Shit, yeah, because you learned that then, and then that meant that the way you moved after that probably was completely differently. Oh, definitely. What I heard you say, though, and I loved this, mm. and I found this really interesting, yeah. was that at that time, your people and the team around you believed in you and your dream more than you did. It was really one person, actually. We got my guy, this, that. And then my link top on my manager, big money. And yeah, the rest has been history, man. It got me up and up and up, you know? Do you think that you manifest things? And if so, how do you do it? Like my manager used to say, like he told me, yeah, blood, a couple of years, you'll link burn the boy, you'll link burn, I don't watch that. Uh, uh, uh. We link burn way before that couple of years happened. After that, when we link burn, he said, yo, we're going to link Beyonce. Made the tune with Jay Z. So it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, you just got to put it out in the world sometimes, you know? When we look at you, I think for a lot of people, they see like this high energy guy, like you're mm. smiley, you're dropping your ad libs, but you're also a human. Yeah. And everyone has like good days, everyone has bad days. 100%. How do you deal with the not so good days? What do you do? I just stay in my own space, man. The one no one around, stay in my own space. I need to, yeah, figure things out. And then, yeah, after that, man, back to it. We outside again. Do you want me to be your thunder buddy? <laughs> no, you're all right, man. You don't want to hear my headaches. I might be the paracetamol to your headaches. <laughs> See what I did there? That's a bar. That's a I bar like right that. there. I you like can, you can have it, it's fine. I'll let you have it. I'm just taking it. And on this show, I've had loads of people in this bed. Sorry to disappoint you. You're not the first one. Wow. Sheets might be a little bit messy. Don't get out, it's fine. It's <laughs> too late now, you've already done it. Oh, we, we've been talking about sex, we've been talking about the disparities between men and women when it comes to sex. Mm. What's your view on things like body count? I grew up in a world where, and I'm probably like quite a bit older than you, but I grew up in a world where um, you're supposed to say, no, you're not, you're exactly the same age. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I'm like, I don't <laughs> get really you're, you're bad like, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you like yeah, you're old enough to be my mum, thanks. Oh. Um, no, but I grew up in a world where it's like, you know, like body count was like this big, huge thing. And as a woman, like the expectation was you're supposed to be like virginal and pure. If you weren't, like you got called a slag, slut, ho, like all of that stuff it's a lot of shame like and it doesn't feel good and it's not nice and there's still this kind of expectation that it's like no men can do whatever they want but women have to somehow magically keep their body count below two otherwise they're like a ho what's your like thoughts on that because there's disparities on other stuff as well but well, hey man it is what it is man people live your life man everyone's got a person for uh, you'll find a person for yourself if you're meant to you know what i'm saying but uh, me personally yeah, obviously, you know, I wouldn't want no, like some mad body count, you know what I'm saying? As in, you wouldn't want to have a high body count or you wouldn't want to be with someone that has a high body count? Which one? Second one. The second one. What's, what's to you is a high body count? 50, 60. 50, 60? I don't know. I have to actually be in that situation to talk on it like that. Because it's hard, isn't it? Like it's imagine, very, yeah. But imagine you met someone who you really liked. Yeah. And then, you know, like you found out essentially that that was like their number. I mean, does it even matter? Like, would you even bother to ask someone? I wouldn't bother asking, but if I found out, definitely put me off. But now watch this, so like, if like, the person you're seeing asks you. Yeah, which, which one ex-boyfriend did? Did you tell him? I told him the truth, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I cried. <laughs> you cried? <laughs> I cried before I told him, then I told him and he was fine about it. And then that was it. You see what I'm saying? Like. It, it, it's whatever, but like if his mind is elsewhere with it, like that could have been a problem for him. It could have been, but it wasn't. Big up him. Not my boyfriend anymore. Nice lad. <laughs> um, what about what's your feelings about body hair? Don't matter to me, but it can't be like mad hairy. Actually, if I if I fuck with you, I don't really care. Thanks for clarifying that. I had a wax today. It hurt a lot. <laughs> what about nipples? What do you mean nipples? What about them? Because well, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook, yeah. your nipples. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. My nipples. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm speaking in ad-libs. See what I did there? Not acceptable. I love it. Oh, yeah, no, that's actually a crazy story, yeah. Yeah, that's unfair, man. If you choose to put your, your yeah, your prrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
do you know what I think is unfair? Is because if you were, if you were topless, you can just walk down the street. Like your naked top half of your body wouldn't be considered sexual. But as a woman, because we're like the female form is so sexually objectified, as soon as tits are on show, it equals sex. But actually, it's just a naked body. It shouldn't equal sex. Mm. Nudity and sex are not, you know, mutually exclusive. I agree, I agree. How are we going to shoot it? This is really serious now. I swear down, we might start a march. You want to start a march? It's already been done, but I'm up for swear it. Swear down. Oh, yeah, shit. Let's go. It's me and you. Oh, so wait. I, there's <laughs> been a march on freeing up the nipple. Yeah. Oh, my God. All over the world, people will just do it, free the nipple. Why are you laughing? Are you listening to the maths? <laughs> what, what? I said, people went on the march to free the nipple. See where the world is coming to. It's wild. It's wild. No, but, you, but it's no, but I get it. I get it. It's but not, it's just wild. Like, I know what you're really saying. Hear it, I know like, what you're saying. Wild, and you think it? like there's there's like mad things going on in the world, and people are complaining about nipples. But it's what it represents, and it represents no, get, like the repression of women. Wait, we're supposed to go back to that question. Remember your Which favorite one? body part? My favorite body part of myself. Yeah. Probably my chest, but I want to work on it. I got like I don't know. I think I got a pigeon chest. I don't know. What's a pigeon chest? Can I touch it? What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. I'm getting a little belly now as well. Are you? Yeah. That's all right though. I quite like a bit of a belly on a man. You think so? Yeah. It don't works. mind that. Yeah. Said it before and I'll say it again. Go on. Confidence is the most sexy thing. Awesome. If you're confident with it. Let them know. You can carry it off. Every day. That's how it works. Look at me on my belly. Before I don't have one. Baby, can you arch it for me? <laughs> you do it. I'm good. Hey, can you wine? Well, I'm Can right. you want a wine? Maybe. <laughs> I might have been practicing Ooh. on my own at home uh, with my inflatable doll. <laughs> I've got I've got one called Susan and one called Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not even going to ask. So I was going to ask. Her. I bless her. No, wait. I ordered them during lockdown. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> I ordered them during lockdown because I, I, I wanted to use them to make TikTok videos. You, you wanted to make what videos? Are you hearing this she say, blood? TikTok videos. Yeah. And I was going to do like, you know, like sk skits. <laughs> Boyfriend. Look, I didn't have a real one. And then, um, but Kevin burst. I don't know how he got there's something wrong with her, you know. There's something actually wrong but with her. But then when I ordered Susan, <laughs> Susan is only this big. She just sat on the sofa. What, a watch? No, there's nothing to watch. <laughs> Kevin doesn't have a penis or anything. Oh, OK. It's just an inflatable doll. Oh, it's a little doll. On this show, we like to finish with a bit of a game. Have you heard of a book called Fifty Shades of Grey? Um, yeah, but I don't know what it's about. So Fifty Shades of Grey is uh, is about Christian Grey, who's a guy who he's seduces this woman and then they have lots of sex, basically. But what I've got here is some excerpts from the book. Apparently these are the most steamy ones. I'm going to read them. Mm. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? The ad-libs. Oh, OK, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I mean, it was straightforward, mate. Back row G, we're about to play a game that Wait. I like to call erotic Slickshim! Do you like that instead of fiction? I swapped it for Slickshim. You you're ready? Bad, you're bad, you're Let's bad. do this. Let's read some erotic fiction. You do the ad libs. What could go wrong? What could go wrong, eh? Let's go. Suddenly, he sits up and tugs my panties off and throws them on the floor. <laughs> he kneels up and pulls a condom out of <laughs> onto his considerable length. Oh no! Will it? How? <laughs> You're so deliciously wet. Why? God, I want you. Why? I'm gonna fuck you now. Why? Miss Steele. My tongue swells around the end. Speechless. He's my very own Christian Grey flavoured popsicle. Wow. I suck harder and harder. <laughs> my inner goddess is doing the merengue. Oh, with merengue. With some salsa moves. <laughs> You're getting too distracted by the okay, story. To yeah, I'm on it. I swear, God, let's go. Right, here we go. I climax anew. Oui. Calling out his name. Oui. Oui. I can't believe oh, this. Oui. This cannot be a real book. Is Are this you a enjoying real book? 
No, it's, I, I'm just shocked. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? This person, whoever wrote this book, is a wild person. No, but this isn't that bad. At least this is more better than what you get in porn, isn't it? <laughs> no, because in porn, when you, when you watch porn, how often in porn do you see like the man doing foreplay on a woman? I watch lesbians, isn't it? Me too. Do you know why I watch lesbian? I'm straight, yeah. but I'll tell you why I watch lesbian porn. The reason I watch lesbian porn is because when I watch lesbian porn, I know that what's happening in that would feel good to me. <laughs> when I watch straight porn, very rarely, Jason Love, big up yourself, is the only <laughs> porn star that I rate, and he's stopped doing porn now, disappointingly, because he gives head, and he actually does foreplay on women before he bangs the shit out of them. So that's the only person, whereas if I watch lesbian porn, that would at least feel good to me. You know? Yeah, I get you. Nah, I hear your reasoning. What do you like about it? Um, I just rather, um, if it's not me in there, I'd rather not see another man in there. You get it? Yeah, you'd rather watch two people that you find attractive. Exactly. Yeah. And um, we've come to the end of our interview. Has this been the best experience you've ever had in the bed? Oh, yes, it has. Are you lying? No. Don't lie. You're lying. I'm joking, I have the best. You're lit, man. Give me five. Give me another five. Give me another five. See, you caught it. You're right, let's go to bed now. All right, night, night. Oh, don't hey, listen, you're gonna don't fart be, now. Yeah, I might like still, but hear what I'm saying. Don't be uh, rubbing no toes on no okay. toes. Car. I didn't clip the toe no. Oh no, you're going to do scratchy foot. Do you wear socks in bed? Yeah. Um, you don't hmm. say yes. No. OK, good. Go to sleep now. Night, night. Night, night. <laughs> hey, we didn't burn the jubi. Oh, well, you can't sleep without that. No, but like, yeah, that's you see what I'm saying. You're already mashing up my routine. Well, get your jubby or whatever you called it, jubby, right. jibby jubs. Oh. Get your jibby jub, and let's do it. Wee. No, no. <laughs>